What's up, everyone? The moment you've all been waiting for. We're finally scoring the Kansas buck. I know you guys have been wanting to know this ever since I shot it. I'm not a big score guy, but since this is a big buck, figured we probably should put a tape on it. My buddy Warren, it's Warren Holder from Raised Outdoors. What's your official, we what are you What are you like officially scorer person? Boone and Crockett and Pope and Young. So he's an official Boone and Crockett, Pope and Young scorer. So we're gonna score it. I don't think I'm gonna enter it just because, I don't know. I haven't thought about that too much yet, but uh, we wanna get an official score on it so we can let you guys know. So we're just gonna kind of run it through. And since this buck has like so many kickers and whatnot, we're gonna kind of talk about that um, because I scored it, Caitlin scored it, Mitch scored it. So we're gonna see how close we can get to officially how Warren's gonna score it. So the biggest thing too on your beams is everybody thinks it either comes like to the back of the antler yeah. and then up and around, which that's what I used to think as well, or that it's like the lowest burr. Right. And it, it is really, technically that's correct, but you're, is what you're, the way they will teach you in the class is you're gonna line up the antlers and where the, both of the bases are, you can't see either one of them. Mm, and then you find the, the center of the antler. Yep, because every measurement's the center of the tines. Mm. And so you find the center of it, and then you know I can just look here, and it's gonna be start right here. And then I'm gonna stay right in the center of his tine, all the way up and around the beam. Cool, he's got some like holes and stuff in him too. Don't do the character on this buck, it's wicked. Oh yeah. That's good. Yep. So that is actually 24 and 7 8. Do you think that. Did you. I would say, I would say he's probably 8 or 9. Length of the tine. Yeah. So see how the tine's still coming into here? Yep. So our baseline will actually go like across here. Oh, wow. So he's going to. That measurement's going to be like way down here. It's going to come right across. To the other side and then mark it on the top of it and make sure it's in the center there so you just want to put it right there on top of the beam and right there on top of the beam it makes it really obvious and it helps you a lot because those measurements it's basically like imagine just cutting the tine off where it's 100 percent even with that beam. yeah if you ran a blade just, just yep. kept going. and then but it's a lot ends up being a lot deeper than what people would have just put thought it on yeah. yep I'm doing just time measurements, I just go from 10, it's just easier. 13 even. Super awesome. Yeah, like too bad you didn't crap out on both of those. That right. was sick. You don't think that'll be one? Probably not. We'll measure it just to make sure, but I don't think it's gonna make it. Is that how you do the spread? Yeah. Seriously? Yep. See this little doohickey? Oh, wow. Yeah. And this is all straight from Boone Crockett or whatever? Yeah. So then you just put it right in here until you find the widest spot inside of his beams. Does it need to be parallel or? Yeah, it's supposed to be parallel. 
but as long as it's the widest, so like I can see, you know, I can just, I can go in here, but that's obviously it's All right. wider. Okay, right there. 17, even. Yeah. That was a good guess, I said 17 earlier. Isn't that stupid? 24 inches of kicker. It's a lot. And it and That's it doesn't look like, you know, 24 inches necessarily. Yeah. Alright, this deer is adding out the most even I've ever had a deer add up. No way. Yeah, well that was 12 on that one even on that column. That one was oh, 6 eight still, yeah, yeah. but 24, 6 eights, 9. I did 187 even. Really? When I scored them, yeah. 100 inch antler is just ridiculous. Mm. He's not going to be over 200, no way. No. No. It's going to be big, though. You think bigger than we did? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. <laughs> I should be like 170. Really shock the world. 165. <laughs> Are you looking? I'm not looking. I'm not. I'm looking. <laughs> okay, you ready for the gross? Score? Ready. Gross. Chris B's buck. Official gross score. Because that's technically not official. But the right. official gross score is 186 and 7 dude, eights. Dude, let's go! <laughs> dude, let's go. I think that was Dake. I think Dakin said that. He he's was freaking big, dude. 186 and 7 eighths. That's good. So he's got a 162 and an eighth mainframe. And then I'll get you what he, let's see what he technically, what he nets. 77. That's big. 177 and 7 eighths. Is his official net score as a non typical? That's big. That's a beast. It's a great deer, dude. So, doesn't he have to be over? He has to be over 185 so, as a non typical. Yeah, so he technically wouldn't make it there. And then I think, um, I mean, you're going to be talking 24 inches of deductions typical. Yeah, so, so he, that's no he won't. No, I mean, Pope and Young, you'll crush it. Yeah. <laughs> you'll make Pope and Young all day, every day. Now, I think, though, if you added in this, that right there might have. Right. Honestly, it might have actually hurt him if that wasn't split or something. Right. You know, because if this one was like seven and this one's four, right. That'd be three inches of deductions. Right. Um, but if he's got a split back there or something that's five, you know, then we pick up two inches. I did 187 on the dot in the hotel room after we killed him. The night and we that's killed him. After 60 day drying period. Yeah, so I even did. So you're right on. Right there. Yep. Did you take your measurements mostly the same, you felt like? Yeah. I knew, yeah, I knew to take it this way. Yep. You know, because that way it's less. And... Well, and this right here helps him a lot too. You know, on those four point sides, yeah. that mass measurement usually it kills him. But, but he's bladed. Yeah. yeah. So it still was like almost four. So his left side was 73 and 3 eighths as just a typical five point side, mm -hmm. which seems wrong, but it's not. I mean, 24, 3, 12, 10, 4. His mass measurements, I don't understand how they, they I think he's, it's like so thick, but it's not. It's skinny quite still. Around. Yeah. yeah. Like his base is. He's heavy, you know, but it's not like a giant, mm -mm. giant base. Mm -mm. For sure, no. Uh, and then, but his four point side on the right is 71 and 6 eighths. That's a four point. That's big. All right, everyone. 186, 7 eighths gross score. So, for everyone wondering, that's what he scores. It's a big deer. And uh, again, super pumped. And. Make sure to watch the hunt. I already talked a bunch, but it's just unbelievable what happened. And I still don't think that I deserve this just for being a random deer in a random spot. But thanks so much, my buddy Warren. Raised outdoors. Make sure to check them out. Hit them up.
hit, hit up their app too. They got an app with a bunch of cool stuff on it. But you got big gear like that that you need to score. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hit Warren up to official score. It's a beast, dude. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.